We just got the lightweight buttstock from Ultradyne. In this video, we're gonna see how it works on Shorty. Hey guys, Gavin Gear here from ultimatereloader.com. Recently on the channel, we've done a ton of cool rifle builds with Ultradyne. We started with the UD7 in short action. We also covered the UD5, that was a cool 22 arc build. We've done UD3, which is Shorty. Shorty was a really fun project as well. 308 Winchester, we've got a bat igniter action, a benchmark barrel. Here we're using a silencer central back country. We've got the loophole Mark 5 HD 2 to 10, which is new this year. And we, to put it together, just put this sort of collapsing M4 style buttstock. It's a little wobbly. It's not totally ergonomic, it doesn't have a butt pad. And so I thought in this video, it'd be fun to take a look at the new lightweight butt stock from Ultradyne. This is basically purpose built for this build. We've got a couple stickers here, thank you card. Really nice packaging that's cut custom for the lightweight butt stock. Just what you'd expect from Ultradyne. Okay, so what we've got is the lightweight butt stock. We've got the optional bag rider, and we've got two additional length of pull spacers. So this lightweight buttstock is all about lightweight, simplicity, strength, and silence, and features, right? When you screw this down and you tighten it, there's no parts to rattle here. And with length of pull spacers, comes with two, we can collapse that down and get 13 inch length of pull. Here we're at 13 and a half. And if we add these two, we're gonna be at 14 inch. Now, when you order the lightweight buttstock, you can specify low, medium, or high for the cheek riser, which is included, and that's gonna correspond to your rings, whether they be low, medium, or high. The optional bag rider is gonna give us a bit more stability when we're using a rear bag, which we frequently do when we're testing ammo. So I'm gonna put that on as well. Okay, so I think this is gonna be a great fit. Next, we'll install the accessories and put it on the rifle. Okay, so got everything out of the packaging. There's uh, four small holes here on the bottom, and it looks like those are gonna go like this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these kind of pre-staged. We've got an eighth inch Allen key here. Okay, so I shook those all through. Those are all kind of pre-aligned. I'll just go ahead and tighten those each individually. So I ran each of the screws down so I could barely feel any torque and I'm gonna go ahead and just give them all a, a final torquing. It helps things line up better that way in my experience. So, bag rider's on. That looks pretty cool, I like that. And of course that's easy to remove if we're hunting and we don't want this to catch on you know, tree branches or anything like that. Okay, so with that done, we'll spin this guy around and swap the buttstocks. Okay, so I removed the grip so that we can access the indexing set screw. And what I'm gonna do is get my castle nut wrench. This is a wheeler wrench here on the castle nut, loosen that. Now before I remove the buttstock, get down here and back that off until it'll rotate. Now we can take lightweight butt stock. I can actually feel how light that is. That is really cool, 0 0.875 pounds. So really great for a lightweight build. We'll call that good right there. Go ahead and get this properly indexed here. Can, can feel that hitting. And then we gently kind of tighten that so that it will hold the index. Tighten the castle nut again. Doesn't have to be too much there. Okay, that's on. Now we can go ahead and reinstall the grip. Okay, the buttstock with bag rider is installed. It's properly indexed, it's torqued. I did a little dry firing and I found that 
as suspected, that longer length of pull would be advantageous for me with my larger frame. So I'm gonna take my eighth inch Allen key and we're gonna go ahead and remove the screws that sandwich the butt pad onto the butt stock. Ultradyne designed this system such that the same screws can be used for all of the different uh, length of pole spacer configurations from none to four. We've got our two extras here. I like how these all just stack together. Very cool. Gentle torquing is all that's needed. Look at that. Things should be ready to roll. Empty mag. <laughs> okay, I'll have to say I like Shorty a lot better now. <laughs> this is this is definitely, oh yeah. Oh, the length of pull is so much better now. Awesome, okay. So the only thing left to do is to go shoot this bad boy. This is ammo that we loaded with Barry's 220 grain subsonic optimized plated bullets. This has Trail Boss, really, really fun with the suppressor in shorty. Let's see how this is gonna feel. Yeah, just really like that length of pull. That just feels dialed. This is fun. Mag out a little bit. Should be better. Yeah, better sight picture with that. Nice. <laughs> oh man, so much fun. Really, really solid. I really like how this lightweight butt stock feels. I like the fact that I can put the bag rider on there and I can take it off so easily. So here's the thing. Like I said, we've got other stories covering the UD3, UD5, then UD7. We've got custom Cerakote, bunch of different configurations, lots of fun. So check out those other stories with Ultradyne chassis and parts. Okay, don't forget Dynalock as well, which is built into the chassis. If you've got the correct tripod head, it'll lock right in and prevent slippage, that sort of thing. Uh, what I'd like to know though, is what do you think of Shorty, the 16 inch 308 build? What do you think of the lightweight buttstock? And if you were gonna use it on a build, what would it be? What stock, what cartridge, and what would you be using it for? Drop a comment and we'll start that discussion. Thank you for watching. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're going to want to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you want to learn lucrative gunsmithing like what I show here on the channel, including building custom rifles and Cerakote plus a whole bunch more, you're going to want to check out the Colorado School of Trades, schooloftrades.edu. Thanks again for watching.